Wow. So here we are. I don't know. We probably should have. Uh... We probably should have blocked this out, but how do you block out 160,000 bees? Lior, say your last name. Schleichhorn. Schleichhorn. You are a beekeeper or also, what's the official name of what you do? A a a well, apiary is the term for a bee site, but beekeeper is the normal. Can you grab the uh, smoke real quick and bring it over here? Because I just am finding this out. You use the smoke. Uh, go ahead and show that to Vince. What do you use the smoke for? So I'll give you a little puff there. Yeah, Sorry. You know. Sorry, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> You smell like pine needles in the morning. So the smoke, actually, what happens is when we enter the hives, they, because we trigger almost like a, a simulated bear attack, if you will, right? They're accustomed to being attacked by predators, by skunks or bears. And so they actually will trigger an alarm pheromone. And the alarm pheromone is really the stinging in, right, the stinging oh. intent to prevent the predator from... So you're from outsmarting them. You create a fake fire and then they start eating honey. Right, so they will consume honey and then they will get distracted and won't focus about spreading the alarm pheromone. So, so the smoke doesn't calm them down, it confuses them. Yes, it's a, everything in the hive is really about pheromone activity. So in terms of how the queen spreads her pheromone to tell the hive that there's a queen in the hive, um, how the bees kind of can summon other bees home, um, how they how they feed the the larva. Everything is really pheromone driven. Can we can we back up just one second? And we'll be okay if Vince follows sure. a little yeah. bit. So again, we're we're gonna behind. So we're so fine. so so again, there's there's about forty thousand in each box, right? <laughs> Correct. So these are called brood boxes. So the brood is the larva, the eggs, the pupa, so that and all the food and all the resources for the hive. So as a beekeeper, we do not we do not touch any of the resources here. It's it's purely it's this to sustain. One. Okay. Yeah, so what to sustain the hive and then during the nectar flow uh, which we have typically either between May and July and then late August into October are two separate nectar flows. Uh, and that's where we would put the, the honey boxes up. So any excess honey, they will first be here. Yeah, they will store honey in the bottom first and then any excess honey will be stored up here. And so that's what we would extract. What we're going to do is uh, he's got the suit for me. We are going to, uh, depending on how close Vince wants to be, we're going to see that process coming up in our next half hour on World Honey Bee Day. And uh, so far, I'm bee free. So be free, Cindy, and we'll send it back to you in the studio. John, thank you.